we will now take you on a special behind-the-scenes look at how a Silexis muffler is manufactured. The first step in the process is to louver the tubes that will form the baffle for the muffler. A larger tube is domed so that it can fit over a smaller tube to form the baffle. Here, the larger dome tube is welded to the smaller tube by a rotary welder. Next, the end cap is welded onto the baffle also using a rotary welder. The can for the muffler is rolled from sheet metal and is then inspected to ensure that the can contains no kinks. The can is then placed into a jig where it is stuffed with the baffle produced in the earlier steps. Here the can undergoes simple tack welding to hold it together for the full welding of the can. The can stuffed with the baffle components is placed into a jig where it awaits full welding by a robotic welder. The robotic welder gets down to work and with six axes of rotation it can easily maneuver around all faces of the can. The robotic welder follows a special program specifically designed for the muffler. It takes just under two minutes for the robot to complete its task. Once the robot is finished welding, a worker inspects the can and the remaining components of the muffler are welded onto it. Next, the tailpipe of the muffler is pierced according to customer specifications so that a tailpipe extension may later be attached. And finally, a quick paint job touches up all the welds and gives each muffler a clean and shiny appearance. Now the muffler is time stamped and product coded for easy identification and then packed into shipping boxes. The shipping boxes go into storage until they are eventually shipped to the customer.